So let's have a look then. Highlights of this first race at Mandalika this time around. And off the line, Adaki got a better start this time around. The number 14 able to just streak away in the race lead early on before disaster will strike a little bit later. Yeah, unfortunately, so it was drama from the very get-go. It was Gunmie, who got three podiums here last year, crashed out of the race on the first lap. He was fortunate not to take some of the other riders with him. Disappointment, but he'll be in the running once again tomorrow. But it was all about the number 13, Hakim Danish, taking off towards the front. Well, and that was the last that they saw of him, wasn't it? Pretty much it was. And unfortunately, that was the last Amon Adaki saw of this race one here at Mandalika as the number 14 slid out. Rider perfectly OK, but disappointed. And that place in the standings taking a dent as these guys then fought it out tooth and nail for that podium. Yep, Hakim Danish off out front by 15 seconds towards the end, but it was Fadilla, the number 15, versus Thompson, number 6, and 21 Izawa for that second place. They gave absolutely everything they could and a little bit more, particularly with these various overtakes in towards Turn 1. Izawa looking very strong indeed as he cemented overall his lead in the championship. This was a decisive moment on the final lap with Thompson crashing out. Hopefully he's all OK for tomorrow. Take nothing away, though, from Danish. A superb performance today with Zara in second, Fadilla, the Indonesian, in third. Join us tomorrow for Indonesia Talent Cup in Indonesia, race two.